Mastering personal pronouns. Your key to clear communication. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting session on English grammar fundamentals. Today, we're going to dive into the world of personal pronouns and unravel their magic. Pronouns, especially personal ones, are the linchpin of clear and fluid communication, so let's learn to master them together. First, let's understand what personal pronouns are. These are words that we use in place of specific nouns, typically people, that we have already mentioned or we can understand from the context. We have first-person pronouns. I, me, we, us. Second-person pronouns. You, and third-person pronouns. He, she, it, they, him, her, them. We categorize personal pronouns into two groups, subject pronouns and object pronouns. Subject pronouns include I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. And we use them as the subject of a sentence. For example, she likes coffee. On the other hand, object pronouns are me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. We use these pronouns as the object of verbs or prepositions. For example, the book is for him. Personal pronouns also have singular and plural forms. Singular pronouns refer to one person or thing, like he, she, it, for the third person, while plural pronouns refer to more than one person or thing, like they, for the third person. It's essential to match the pronoun with the number of entities you're referring to. Correct usage of personal pronouns is crucial in English. They help us avoid repetition and make our speech and writing smoother. Just remember, personal pronouns must agree in number, singular or plural, gender, male, female, or neutral, and case, subject or object, with the nouns they replace. Here's a quick example. Incorrect. John said John lost John's keys. Correct. John said he lost his keys. Notice how the sentence becomes much cleaner and easier to read when we use personal pronouns correctly. Well, that's it for today's lesson on personal pronouns. Remember, practice is the key to mastering them. So, next time you're speaking or writing, Pay attention to your use of personal pronouns. We hope this video has been enlightening and will help make your English communication clearer and smoother. See you in the next lesson.